Hello everyone, my name is Sunju and welcome to my channel Upcycle Clothing Designer. In each video, I share easy ways to upcycle clothing using thrifted clothes, old clothes, and vintage fabric scraps. Check my website in the description below to see how I transform denim jeans, men's shirt, and plain old t-shirt into trendy clothing. Today I want to show you how to make a DIY crescent purse from old jeans. The denim jeans that I used for this tutorial were slightly stretchy in all four directions. However, it was manageable because I used fusible interfacing to strengthen the fabric. I had lining left over from a previous project so I used the fabric to make a lining for this DIY purse. Just another reason why I always recommend saving remnant fabric and notions when you upcycle clothing. I had leftover denim and original zipper from old jeans so I decided to make a matching coin pouch. I included the dimension in the video and on my website. Let's get started! For this crescent purse from Old Jeans tutorial, start by preparing the DIY purse pattern. To make the crescent purse pattern, fold the piece of paper in half, measure 5 inch away from the folded line, and 6 inch down from the top line. Draw a line to connect the points. To round the bottom corners of the purse, measure 2 inch away from the bottom and side edges. Draw a smooth curved line to round the corner. Cut along the line to make the crescent purse pattern. To make the side pieces of the purse, use the crescent purse pattern. Lay the pattern pieces on the leg part of the old jeans. Trace the pattern onto the old jeans and add half an inch seam allowance on all sides. Copy the side piece with seam allowance onto the other pant leg. To make the bottom piece of the purse, measure a rectangle piece that is 3.5 inch by 7 inch. To make the outside width piece of the purse, measure a piece that is 3.5 inch wide along the bottom, 9.5 inch tall, and 2.5 inch wide at the top. Copy the outside width piece to make one for the other side. To make the inside width pieces of the purse, use the outside width piece to guide the measurement. Trace the top 2.5 inch of outside piece. Copy the inside width piece to make one for the other side. To make the adjustable strap, measure two separate pieces that are 2 inch by 4 inch. To make the shoulder strap, use the leg of the old jeans. Use a seam ripper to remove the pocket for extra length. Measure two strap pieces that are 2 inch by 30 inches. To strengthen the purse pieces, add fusible interfacing. Trace both side pieces, bottom piece, and outside pieces onto a sheet of interfacing. Cut the interfacing to match the purse pieces. Use 
Use an iron to bond the interfacing to the wrong side of the purse pieces. To make a lining for the purse, use a slippery material like acetate or poly blend. Trace both side pieces, bottom piece, and outside pieces onto the lining fabric. To assemble the DIY purse, start by joining the bottom piece of the purse to the bottom of the outside width pieces. Edge top stitch with the right sides facing together. Open the seam and edge top stitch along the center line to flatten the seam. Fold the side piece in half and snip with scissors to mark the bottom center. Fold the outside width pieces in half and snip with scissors to mark the center on both sides. Line up the side center marking and the outside width center marking with the right sides facing together. Pin to secure and top stitch. Do the same for the other side. Line up the other side center marking and the outside width center marking with the right sides facing together. Pin to secure and top stitch. Use scissors to snip the seam allowance along the rounded corners of the purse. Flip the purse inside out. To assemble the purse lining, Start by joining the bottom piece of the purse lining to the bottom of the outside width pieces of the purse lining. Edge top stitch with the right sides facing together. Fold the side piece of the purse lining in half and snip with scissors to mark the bottom center. Fold the outside width pieces of the purse lining in half and snip with scissors to mark the center on both sides. Line up the side center marking and the outside width center marking with the right sides facing together. Pin to secure and top stitch. Do the same for the other side. Line up the other side center marking and the outside width center marking with the right sides facing together. Pin to secure and top stitch. Insert the lining into the purse, pin to secure and edge top stitch. To add a zipper to the purse, Open the zipper slide and pin the right sides of the zipper tape around the top edge of the purse opening. Flip the purse inside out to pin the other side of the zipper to the top opening on the opposite side. To cover the ends of the zipper tape, cut two pieces of fabric that are 1.5 inch by 2 inch. Pin one covered piece to each end of the zipper tape. Use a zipper foot to sew the zipper tape to the top opening of the purse.
To assemble the adjustable strap, join the pieces together with the right sides facing together and top stitch to the side seam. For the opposite side, quarter inch fold the edges, pin to secure, and top stitch. To attach the adjustable strap to the outside width piece, pin to secure at top stitch with the right sides facing together. To assemble the shoulder strap, join the pieces together with the right sides facing together and top stitch the side seam. For the opposite side, Quarter inch fold the edges, pin to secure, and top stitch. To attach the shoulder strap to the outside width piece, pin to secure and top stitch with the right sides facing together. To attach the adjustable buckle to the adjustable strap, slide the strap into the buckle and over the center bar. Then, lock the buckle in place joining the ends of the strap to the outside with the piece. To attach the inside with pieces, quarter inch fold the edges, pin to secure and top stitch around the edges. Pin to secure and top stitch the inside width pieces to lock the adjustable strap and shoulder strap in place. To finish this DIY purse from old jeans, quarter inch fold the end of the shoulder strap and hand sew. To make a matching crescent coin pouch from old jeans, use a seam ripper to remove the original zipper. The length of the miniature crescent was 4.5 inch and the height was 2 inch. The bottom piece of the coin pouch was 1 inch by 7 inch. Add half an inch seam allowance and copy the coin pouch pattern onto the old jeans. Zigzag stitch the sides of the pieces so the fabric doesn't fray. Attach the zipper to the top of the side pieces with the right sides facing together. Pin the bottom piece to the side pieces with the right sides facing together. Top stitch to join both sides pieces to the bottom piece. Flip the coin pouch inside out to finish the DIY coin pouch from old jeans. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this bag making project boosts your confidence to try new sewing skills. For step by step instructions and detailed explanations, check out my website listed in the description below. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Share your crescent purse and matching coin pouch with me on Instagram at Upcycle Clothing Designer. Leave a comment below and let me know what project you'd like to see next. Bye!